This is a 20 core Xeon CPU, which costs more than the 24 core Threadripper. But wait, Threadripper also has better performance. So why is this more expensive? Now we've seen a lot of comparisons of Intel Core versus AMD Ryzen. But how does the entire HEDD lineup of Intel Xeon and Threadripper series stack up against each other? And which one is the best for you? Let's find out. Now let's start with pricing and availability. And here Threadripper seems like a no-brainer choice. But the reason we cannot compare Xeon with the X series is simply because Xeon CPU's features are more comparable with the WX series. And here, Intel is actually cheaper. They also have a 12-core variant, which is cheaper than any Threadripper variant in India. And this is really great because if your use case is not CPU dependent, you just need a CPU with server-grade features. A 12-core CPU can save you a lot of money, but what are these server-grade features? For example, the GPU support, while 7960X has 48 PCI 5.0 lanes, the Xeon 3445 has 112, and the 7965WX has 128. So in terms of features, you can add one more GPU in the 7965WX, but in Xeon, you can add two terabytes of more RAM. Yeah, that's the biggest plus point of Xeon W series. It's massive 4 TB of RAM support which is really great if you're working with large data sets. But for overall performance, AMD does take the lead with its support for up to 96 cores and 5.3 GHz, while the Xeon family has up to 60 cores with 4.8 GHz of max boost clock. Although you'll need to keep in mind that raw numbers don't always translate to better performance. For Intel optimized applications, obviously, Intel will run better. But for most CPU-based workloads, like CPU-based 3D rendering and data processing, AMD does work much better. But with high performance comes high power draw. And rightfully so, AMD has a 25 watt of higher TDP across this lineup. But that's just on paper. Because the Threadripper 7000 is on 5 nanometer architecture. And due to that, they're able to power 96 cores with just 350 watts. Whereas Intel is only able to power 60 cores. So again, Threadripper is also efficient. And this is great for 24-7 workloads like surveillance because over time the higher cost can really stack up. But performance and efficiency are actually not the main criteria for these kind of systems, HEDTs. It's actually stability. And that's the game Intel's been playing for the last 20 years. For most legacy applications like storage servers, email or web servers, Intel is the go-to choice for most users simply because the infrastructure is already built around their hardware. And that were all the main points of difference between Xeon and AMD Threadripper. So if you're someone who just wants maximum performance, like AI training or render farms, AMD is not a bad choice. But for legacy users and people working with really large data sets, Xeon is a good choice too. And while we love to go more in depth, the problem is it's almost impossible to do an apple to apple comparison because nothing between the two platforms is standardized. So telling which one is better for you specifically will require a lot more context, which is impossible in a video. Luckily for you though, we have a team of configuration specialists sitting across Hyderabad, Gurgaon, Bangalore and Mumbai. So if you're still in doubt, feel free to visit our stores. And even if you're not from one of these cities, call us or visit our website because we've been shipping HEDTs across India since 2015. Until next time, cheers.